Yo, 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 welcome back to another video. It's your boy EJ, MBF EJ with MBF Kennel. Um, so today, a couple things, man, a few things going on I want to touch on. All right, um, first thing I want to touch on is me, you know what I'm saying? Personality wise, should I be doing, should I don't be doing? I've been doing a lot of self reflecting, bro, like, and I don't know, I can't say it's a problem. But it is a problem if I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? I'm a homebody person. I'd rather be around my dogs. I'd rather be in the house. I don't really go nowhere. I don't go to restaurants. I don't do shit. Like, unless somebody really want to go, then I'll go. But I don't just do that on my own. So, basically, I don't like doing it because I don't do it. But, personally, I don't like that about myself. Like, I want to be more outgoing. I want to be more social. I haven't connected with no other breeders. I haven't collabed with nobody. I don't really do shit with nobody, like, and that's, if you really want to grow, like, if you want to be a millionaire, I'm just going to be honest with you, you want to be a millionaire, the one thing you got to do is be social, unless you, like, into the tech world and shit like that, you know, you know, you do it through Instagram, but, like, if you want to be a millionaire, you have to learn how to be social, you have to learn how to be around people that you don't like. You have to learn how to be friends with people that you have that you don't have anything in common with. Because those connections bring connections that brings connections. So I don't know. Starting today, I want to do something different. I think I'm gonna put some clothes on, get handsome. Um, I don't know, I might go go downtown Houston or something. Just go check out a food spot, go check out a spot I've been wanting to check out or something. I don't know, like I wanna get in the habit of doing something. Um, it's just, it'll make girls like you more and not necessarily saying I'm looking for girls to like me more, but if you want to improve as a person, you have to self reflect and you have to look at things that's unattractive about yourself. Women love to have fun. We got one life. People love to have fun. People love to do stuff. Being in the house all the time, bro, that shit is lame. It's so lame. And I didn't used to be like this. This is the crazy part. I didn't always be like this, y'all. I was the person that was out. Monday through Monday. Like, when the sun came up, I'm already earning my clothes. We trying to figure out what, you know what I'm saying, what we finna get into. I was always that person, like. And all my friends, like, we had, like, they that people, but I have been through so much back home that once I got to a certain age, first thing I did was leave. I leave and I tried to leave everything behind. I'm talking about, I forgot people's names. I stopped listening to rap music. Like, I literally just, I just wanted a whole new identity when I left there because that place had me so grimy and all that type of stuff and I just didn't want to want that for myself no more. But I'm an adult, I'm a man now. I can't keep living in the past. I can't keep living in my childhood years because that's childish. You've grown, you've grown as man now. So I got to do grown man shit. So I want to learn how to be more social. I want to learn how to connect with more people. I, I have a great personality. I'm really nice. Like, you know, I'm real cool. Like I'm... People get around me, nobody hates me. You know what I'm saying? People get around me, nobody hates me, nobody dislikes me. So I don't have a personality that people dislike. I just don't, people don't get a chance to see it. You know what I'm saying? So I want to work on that. I want to be more outgoing. I have the money to do whatever I want to do. So I just need to start doing shit. Anyway, also, update, second thing. The dogs. Cryptic Merle bent up my cage. You know, my stack, stackable cages. She bent it up. So Krypton Murrow is no longer ever allowed to be in the garage. Krypton Murrow is in the backyard until she's, until she's sold. Matter of fact, somebody come by Krypton Murrow right now. Krypton Murrow 2500, come get her right now. With papers. I'm on, I'm on the go. All right, second thing, third thing. I don't think Roxy took. Like I told y'all, when I was walking in the day, that's why I didn't say she was pregnant because she had ate so, she probably ate like six pounds of food. What y'all don't know about Roxy is, Roxy will out eat everybody. Roxy used to out eat Navy. She will eat until there's nothing else there. Literally, she 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 got that personality where she would just eat until nothing else is there. She would drink water until I, I can give her a whole thing. Fucking freaking. Sorry about my cuss. I'm trying to stop you for funny. I can give her a whole bucket of water and she'll try to drink it all. She will attempt to drink it all and then she'll drink it so much until she just start throwing up water. And as you throw her water, she'll go drink some more and she'll throw up again. Like she's she's really slow when it comes down to managing what, how much you eat and drink. I don't like that about her. 
So when I was walking there day, y'all see, y'all was seeing water and oh, too much food. Because the next day, it was so many pounds of dookie in her kennel. I'm talking about like, it took three trips of shoveling, dumping to go get it all out. It was too heavy. I ain't feed them yesterday because everybody's, I overfed everybody yesterday. I don't, really, I don't overfeed my dog. I overfed everybody yesterday, so, or day before yesterday. So yesterday, I just feed them. Woke up today. Everybody else had a couple turds. I was okay, yeah, it's time for them to eat because it's just a couple turds. So I fed everybody. But Roxy had more pals of Dookie, like, and then while I'm cleaning up Dookie, not in her cage, it's like four pals of Dookie in there. She's Dookie again on top of another pal. So I say that to say that, I say that to say this. Roxy, I don't, I'm probably like 99% sure she did not take. She just overeats and overdrinks. We three weeks out from her from her due date. And once she started releasing all the water and dookie, she started to look back normal like Roxy. So like right now, if I show but right now if I show y'all her, um right now if I show y'all her, I think my headphones went dead. Anyway, right now if I show y'all her, she gonna look pregnant because I just fed her and I gave her some water. So the stomach stuff is back looking how, you know what I'm saying? I was telling y'all about but I just don't think she took. I'm almost certain. I'm almost certain. I'm gonna let her out. Watch out, see her. Come on, Austin. I understand why y'all thought that. Like, I'm not mad at y'all. I'm not saying that y'all dumb or nothing like that. Literally, I would have thought the same thing if I was somebody from the outside looking in. What about somebody that don't really know her personally and her eating habits personally? So, but that's how she is. Yeah, ain't no babies in there, y'all. Too, so, I would show y'all from show y'all her before I fed her, and you would have saw like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then. Especially you gotta think them, them Zeus kids, bro. Like Zeus got big bones, all that stuff. So these puppies, she should be that's spoiled right now. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's still three weeks left too, so. I don't know. She ever want to do though. Oh, her son got this same rash on his back. Yeah. yeah. Ain't none of them tits. Three weeks out. I've over real tight. Two or three years. Still a spot in the middle of her back. Like right there, like the little wet spot. My son got a, a rash right there too. What the heck is that, bro? That's so awkward. Hey, baby. I love you. My baby, y'all. Hey, right, Roxy. I can bring my chair and put it underneath the tree. And, um, I mean, just hold my puss for real, but I don't gotta worry about nothing, bro. Just clean the kennel, so I'm gonna let Junior out so he can go. You know, y'all don't know Junior like to, uh, Junior like to, uh, fight the water, water hose on the kennel. See, they all mad because Junior out. They weren't mad because Rocky was out. <laughs> Damn. Don't get on me right now. You see a rash on his back? You can see it on his coat. Because his coat white. Like right there. You see that red spot? She got the same thing on hers. 
Mm, it's so weird, man. I'm gonna talk to the girl to figure out what that is. If anybody know in the comment section what that is, please let me know. See, he almost as tall as her. Roxy not a good dog, though. Roxy bigger than Zeus. As far as her height, she a little bit, she a little bit taller than Zeus. Probably like half an inch, though. Not too much. It's a junior, y'all. I love Junior. You're a cool dog. I love my dogs, bro. I love them cool. Once they come out that cage and all that stuff, all that barking and jumping around, it all that disappears. They just want to be out here. That's why I spend a lot of time with them outside, outside the cage. Cause they really not bad dogs at all. Like I don't gotta worry about them running off or doing nothing crazy. They be chilling. Junior wanna play, look, his penis out and everything. Play with buddy. It's different when you do that with Hazel. Hazel, your age. Mama gonna snap snap. I don't know. See, the, she got a little hump in her back a little bit, like it's like her spine rising up. So I don't know, bro. There's no puppies in there. Usually that happens when the dog is pregnant, like they back go up to them, like to make room, but. You see, I just got it out. She's just laying down. So I don't know. You got Junior licking on her. Can y'all imagine what Junior's gonna look like when he get like a hundred pounds? Like the least he's gonna be is a hundred. You know what I'm saying? Mama hunt, daddy like one thirty. The least he's gonna be is a hundred. Y'all imagine how he gonna look, how big he's gonna be looking, how that spread he got. Yeah, his head gonna spread open and look at dude. Dude is whole horny. What is wrong with this boy? boy is maybe all over again. Dripping and stuff, shaking and stuff, shivering. Maybe there's some puppies in there, y'all. The dude is tripping. It's kind of disgusting, y'all. Maybe I should start recording this. Look at his mouth. No, come over here. Come over here with all that dripping mouth stuff. You sick boy. It's your mama. You can come over here, you're my baby. I mean, when I first got you, took you to the beach, you back in our shop. I don't know what you're doing, Tell what the dog you, the tail. Who's the tail? Who's the tail? 
Why are you pregnant, mama? Maybe give it a rest. Maybe. Get down, Junior. Junior, watch out for your snap. You gotta go. You tripping. Join for sale, y'all. Join is tripping. She always bite me, y'all. Ah! <laughs> so crazy. Hey, baby. Junior, get back with all that hump and stuff, dude. Dang. Junior, back. Stop. Before she bites you. Dang. What's wrong with the dude? Shit. Go out, bite. Look at that, Rox. All right, y'all, this video been kind of long. I know y'all y'all only watch five, six minutes anyway. So I'll catch you guys on this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, still pushing for 100 likes. If I don't get 100 likes on the video, I'm not dropping multiple videos a day. It's just what's going on. Catch you guys on this video.